hi guys thank you for watching and in this video i am going to explain how you can choose any external color into the solidworks so suppose you want to have this porch color into your clister plastic so what you can do is you can just drag this color into solidworks so yes into the solidworks 2021 version and all the updated version what you can do is there is a great enhancement that you can just take any external color from any software any website adobe or any program and then you can bring that color into your parts so suppose i want to add this porch color onto my crystal plastic piece so what i can do is i can just go into the edit appearance here and then you can see there are different colors so what i can do is i can choose any color for my plastic piece or there is a eyedropper here as you can see so what i need to do is i just need to click it and drag it anywhere wherever the color i want to choose so as you can see there is a box color box if you, if you want to have a lighter color or if you want to have a darker color then what you need to do is you just need to click on there so this color is automatically gonna be applied to your piece sorry for distraction but if you think my videos are helpful for you or if you are a serious solid work learner then i am gonna highly recommend you you can go into the description of this video and you would found a link of my course where i have over 10 hours of videos in which i have explained each and every command in a very detailed video or if you have any projects or assignments so feel free to write me on my email which is given into the description of this video thank you and then you can see there is an option what you can do is like you can add this current color to the swatch so in this way you can add this color and is this color is going to be saved into your swatch and then you can use this color for uh, your next design so in this way you can you can match your color with all the parts or if you want to go into the advanced so you can see right now here into the advanced illumination so if you want to have some kind of reflection or if you want let's go into the colors mapping illumination so transparency i was thinking to change the transparency if you don't want to have any transparency so what you can do is you can just uh, bring it to the zero or if you want to have some kind of blurriness you want to have some kind of reflection or diffuse amount so you can choose different values from here so let's go into the basics and we already add this color into our palette and then we can click the green check mark so i can click ok i'm gonna apply the permissions so in this way what i can do is look at that i just got this color from a posh so i really like this color so in this way what we can do is like we can just add any external color from any website into our solidwork parts and that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And if you are a serious SolidWork learner, then don't forget to check the course link in the description. Thank you. Sorry for distraction, but if you think my videos are helpful for you or if you are a serious SolidWork learner, then I am going to highly recommend you. You can go into the description of this video and you would found a link of my course where I have over 10 hours of videos in which I have explained each and every command in a very detailed video. Or if you have any projects or assignments, so feel free to write me on my email, which is given into the description of this video. Thank you.